welcome you to the famed Boardwalk Hall. They are scheduled for five. Round one underway. Evander Holyfield. Showing you some defense there with the block. Targeting that overhand left. of a tool can the right hook be for a southpaw when he faces an orthodox fighter? Wow, what a dangerous punch for a southpaw. And the danger zone is really there for the orthodox fighter because he's not used to seeing that punch come from that angle. Halfway through this round, and right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date he wants to get to it. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Holyfield's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Look at the accuracy with that hook upstairs. He has his target. He lands the straight right. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. A crushing two. What a great round this has turned into. After doing the hurting, now he's the one hurt. Big shot. He is not meant for life on the outside there, and he just paid the price. He goes down. Because he didn't make his mind up. If you're not going to work out in front, get to a distance where you're safe. He stood there at a bad distance. No man's land. Three, four, five. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. Now committing to that jab, straight hand, and it works out. A well-placed left hand up top. Now these two corners have to do their job after both men went out and gave everything they had. Both fighters getting tagged and hurt by the other. Yeah, well, what you have to do now in the corner, Joe, what you're alluding to is you have to revitalize the fighters. Put some cold water on his head, on his neck, you know, get him ready for the next round, and give him some good advice. Tell him how to wait, get away from some of those shots. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Teddy, what's the one thing that shows you a fighter like this is recovered? That a guy who was just knocked down in the last round now comes out for the next round and is fine. Well, the first thing I look at is, does he behave the way that he normally behaves? You know, is he a guy that all of a sudden starts running at his opponent and that's not his kind of style? That tells me he's still hurt. That tells me he's still a little drunk. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Scores up top with a left. Up top with the right hand. Good left there. Smart punch right there. The uppercut worked. Good looking uppercut that time. Sends it right back. That's a big, big shot he just scored with. And why did he score? Because he created range, created distance, created a hole, and he filled that hole. Oh, things opened up, and he was able to place the right hand well. He turned things around, and now his opponent has to be asking himself questions. Yeah, he's got to be saying, what do I have to do to get rid of this guy? So he gets a much-needed break here in between rounds. That last round, he took a ton of damage. Right about now, you got to think that his corner and the referee are looking very closely at maybe stopping this fight. So it's up to him to turn it around. The only way he could do is to blow another round. I know that sounds crazy, but I think he's going to tie up use this round to get himself back together and then start making plans to come back the next round. 
Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Holyfield's able to avoid that punch. about that left hand and that's what fighters do pulls the trigger right away after taking one right to the belt line reaching the halfway mark of this round to the head he goes with a left hand solid right by Evander Holyfield targeting that straight left hand that's a razor-sharp uppercut by Evander Holyfield. Solid left hand. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Now he's got his opponent in a tough spot as he's backed him into the corner. That's a nice right hand that time by Evander Holyfield. And now he's targeting upstairs. And round three comes to an end. Good round. Here you go. And we are back underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. There's a nice left hand able to get in. Good flush shot upstairs. Evander Holyfield snapping out that jab. Evander Holyfield's had success so far, just based on his pure hand and foot speed. But there is some, he is damaged badly there. Big, big shot he just scored with. Up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. Holyfield's able to get up. Teddy, I question, though, if he'll be able to go on. What does he have to do? Well, he's got to know what to do, but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No, the bicycle's not there. You got flat tires. What you got to do is grab on the inside, clear your head. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? over fight is over Evander Holyfield's bombs away worked again knockout victory for him ladies and gentlemen by knockouts your winner is the Evander Holyfield's knockout here is a stunner. This fight was clearly going to go the distance and go to the judges. You know what? You just said it. You just explained. You just put a blueprint out to why this fight was a knockout. He thought it was going the distance, and he got a little careless. He assumed something. He was not alert, and now he's out. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us, everyone. 